I just kind of went to the store, yeah, with the ninja, yeah. And then all of a sudden, what did I see? Well, ninja's looking at Peppa Pig. I looked over and bam, Power Master Optimus Prime. Oh man, looks like Titan's Returns have hit the shelves here in Taiwan, and I was so happy. So, um, yeah, let's just take a quick look at the box, get it out of the box, and oh man, uh, open them up and check them out because it looks awesome. I have a lot of great memories of uh, Power Master Prime. Yeah, I had them back in the day, and man, I am real excited for this one. So, woohoo! New toy! New toy! New toy! Let's just get right to it. Oh man, I'm sure there's gonna be some good eating coming up. Woohoo! Yeah, let's just do it. All right, so here is the packaging for um right down there, Titans Return. Autobot Apex and Power Master Optimus Prime. And I actually almost didn't notice it because I was expecting a package change, but really it's pretty much the same as, you know, um, Combiner Wars, which is just a little change of uh, Transformers 4. So, yeah, that's kind of interesting that they didn't, you know, do a new package design. So I think he kind of missed there, Hasbro. But a Power Master Optimus Prime. And it says, uh, what does it say there? Optimus Prime will stand against any threat. Autobot Apex helps him face the enemies that even the Autobot Commander cannot face alone. The Titan Master carries a portion of the spark and power of Optimus Prime. Increasing the legendary warrior's already immense strength, speed, and intelligence. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out one thing. I mean, because Titan Master Autobot Apex is Autobot Apex? Is he a legendary warrior? Or is by um, Apex having some of a portion of Optimus Prime Spark makes Optimus stronger? I think my head just exploded. Um, but anyway, let's just see. All right, there's vehicular mode right there. And then a really lame base mode, which brings us back to the g one days. And oh, look, Apex can go inside and drive. So that's kind of nice. All right, and we got Titan's Return. Works with Compatible Con. Oh, sorry, works with, and then Compatible Con. Compatible Evec. And compatible con. Wow, that's a lot of languages, but none of them are Japanese. -y. So there's Nightbeat, Hardhead, Sentinel Prime, Autobot Blaster, and the Sad Onion Child, right over there. Because Onion children cannot play with these toys. So yep, there we go. We had that side. So this side is just still the Flaming Comet. So, yep, let's just go and open them up and check him out. All right, woohoo! Here we have Power Master Optimus Prime in his vehicular mode, looking so g one -y, and I really love that. That just sells it for me. Now, you might notice the camera's a bit off, and that's because the Ninja completely disassembled my uh, tripod right now. Basically, my camera is sitting on a bunch of boxes. Yeah, and on one of those little real cheap tripods, you know, like really, you know, like dollar store tripod right now. So you got to do what you got to do. But uh, here you go. In the back, you can see it. And the trailer, the top. Now, I don't know why they 
have that hole there, but they do. But just like Ultra Magnus, you could put vehicles inside. Optimus opens up, and yes, you could put vehicles inside. So right there, your side. Very nice details throughout. I do wish some areas were more covered, but you never get 100% of what you want. Now, he is a heavy remold. Oh, you might notice the gun. I took off the gun um, because I forgot to show earlier that the uh, Titan Master, so here's Apex, and don't worry, I'll show them later, um, but uh, Apex, they can go inside. You know, and I think pretty much all the figures are coming with something that these guys can sit in. Which is cool. I do like it. It's something I like. Very retro. Kind of like when, if you had the old G1 Dinobots, they had little spaces in them. Where, you know, because of Diaclon, people could have gone inside. Yeah, so. And... Here we have Ultra Magnus and Optimus, and you could see how different the front trailers are, and of course the back trailers, but still it's the same basic um, framework that they used on it. There are differences. Um, if we look to the side, you, know, you could see how you know, this part right here is new. It's different, but if you go from this line here where it turns around back, that's the same. I really haven't seen any differences between um, the two of them from here to this line here. It's the same, but everything else, more or less, they're, are the same. I mean, the only thing here, the feet, and then I'll show later in the video, the upper thigh is... Uh, the same but heavy heavy remold and it looks great so uh, let's go and get Optimus into his city mode yeah that's gonna be fun Woo um, before I do the uh, um, transformation I just wanted to show Ultra Ultra Magnus's yes it is Ultra Magnus's gun yeah Power Master Optimus Prime's gun is just a total copy of Ultra Magnus's gun. Yeah, and uh, here's a Takara's version just for comparison. Um, yeah, my Hasbro's is put away somewhere and I couldn't find it so I just thought, okay, I'll compare it. But yeah, exactly the same. Just uh, instead of black like the Hasbro's, it's a warm gray. So there you go. Now, getting him into his super amazing uh, base mode. Well, first thing, just push that back there, and we'll just pull out these little legs right there. And you know it's going to be good from that moment right there. Now, you know what you're in for now, Transformers fans. So we pop out the sides, move them back. Same thing here. Pop out the sides this way. Now we're going to come up here, um, unhinge this part, flip it back, flip it back. Pop open the top. Okay, and we're gonna do this, lock them in. So there you go, right there. Now we're gonna open up the feet. So you're gonna just separate the feet and flip that chest part there. Once we do that, now which way we're going this way? Yeah. Then we're gonna turn the leg this way. Okay, so turn the leg this way. We can move it out for right now. And inside, you're going to just pop, twist, and lock it in. So there's one um, joint here. You take it out, and you're going to pop it in. See that right there? Uh, the one that made right there? It's going to lock in there. And you just do the same thing for this side here. Lock that in right there. Okay. There you go, this and this. Take take the trailer and you're gonna bend that down and put it like that. So now it's gonna be this way. Same thing here, bend it down, and we just turn it. Try to 
I guess try to line it up as best you can. Nope. So yeah, pretty much that's that's about right. And okay, you might go, what about the tires? Well, look at this. We just take these guys, put them here like this. And then you have a sweet and amazing Autobot City here. Yeah. Well, the Optimus Prime City, because that's what it's officially called. It is his city mode, and one thing we need is the guns. And they're just going on the shoulders here. And shoulders here. And there you go. There is the Optimus Prime City Mode. I mean, how fantastic is that? But I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute. I have an Ultra Magnus at home. Yep. And you are right. All this time, what was hidden from you was a super sweet Ultra Magnus base right there. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's like twins almost. All right, right there, there's Ultra Magnus. I just bent his arms down a little differently. But yep, I mean, two bases. Isn't that great? And you just could take the guns and put them here, Ultra Magnus's guns. Yeah, it's silly. It's ridiculous, but they put it in. So let's get to the next. All right. Okay, now to get him into his robot mode, he's pretty much there already. Take off the guns. Naturally. All right, and then we're just going to go and we're going to move the legs down this way and rotate. Legs down, rotate. Now, of course, hold on, let's go over here. Now, of course, we're going to move the feet out this way. Sorry, his feet go this way. And then we're just taking this, and again, there's a tab. You can see the tab here, here, so these guys are going together. They're going to be friends, and right there like that. So, you just have to go around. Boom, over here. Just line that up so the tab goes in. There you go. And there you have it. So easy. So right there. So there you have, you can already see it coming together right there already. Uh, move this part down here. Now for Optimus, oh, I already, actually when I moved it, but you gotta push that back in, pull Optimus down, pull him up. Okay, we're gonna, of course we'll move the arms. Okay, flip this guy this way, separate the cab and rotate the cab, flip it around this way, and then we're gonna push down, hold on a second, push down there, Close it up this way. And uh, now we're going to go and we're going to open the chest this way. Now, here inside, you can see there is his Titan Master. Instead of Headmaster, they're now Titan Masters. So we'll take out the Titan Master Apex. And we're going to take Optimus's head and flip up Optimus's head. Okay, and this part here goes down this way. We're going to flip that there. This goes here, so. Like that. Chest flips up. Locks in there like that. And, and so right now, pretty much done, except for shoulders. Oh, wrong way. Shoulder again goes there. Other one goes right here. And then we have the Titan Master. Now let's try to go and see if we can get some. Okay. Try to get him to focus over here. So there you go, the Titan Master Apex. Right there. And the legs, they're hinged so you can sit down. But the feet are stuck together. And transformation is just flip his feet this way. Take his head over here. 
right where to turn it around and then you just have this yeah which is a really nice head sculpt I gotta give it to him it really is great but it's kinda just so odd nothing covers it you know uh, I just wish they had done, gone the extra mile once you do that we take him and you're just gonna go take him put him there so now there's Optimus with a little head and then we just drop down the helmet part on top of it right there and there you go there is Power Master Optimus Prime transformed yep there he is looking big and beefy so yep let's go and uh, take a good close look at him alright let's take a good look at Power Master Optimus Prime and man I like that head sculpt it looks awesome right there yeah, and really a lot of details I mean, look at that chest the design on it whoever designed it man they probably didn't sleep for a while because really that is a lot of detail work you know throughout it the arms pretty much all of it really nice design work on it um you know even the legs the way they designed the legs and even when I drew the picture it's a tough he's a tough cookie to draw and uh, yeah but looks fantastic if we go to the side from the side he looks nice big and bricky right there let me see and from the back from the back it's a base no don't kill that joke by using it too much fellas bud yeah but right there yeah he is awesome in my book I'm really happy to have him and hold on let me go and grab Ultra Magnus so he could stand next to him oh wait, his one missile launcher fell off no put it back on I guess I didn't put it on tight enough alright Boom, right here so here he is right next to Ultra Magnus and Prime is definitely beefier than Ultra Magnus much beefier guy there they are side by side and you can see how big of a difference it is and if you're looking for the same the feet are the same and then this part of the thigh the upper thigh is the same the upper thigh but the bottom thigh they're different between those two but really they basically went with super amounts of remolding and it looks great the results are pretty awesome in my book so let's quick go through the um, standard articulation so let's see what articulation does Power Master Optimus Prime have well his head his head will do a 360 which is surprising now you can lift up the head but of course the uh, headmaster slash uh, Titan Master will come up you know so you have that you can go down just a little bit right there um, shoulder wise he's got the 360 you can disconnect it to get your arm to go across this way um, he also has you know the shoulder will go out to the side this way yeah 90 degree elbow and his uh, fingers will open up over there in one set um, no waist articulation but for his uh, hips Go all the way out, a little bit forward to there. Back is hindered right here, so it doesn't go back that far. You got a knee that's a little less than 90 degrees, and of course here, 360. And here you've got all, yeah, you know, just like Ultra Magnus, all kinds of tilt there for you. So yeah, pretty well articulated, nice, big, and beefy really the way I want my Power Master Optimus Prime to be he's supposed to be a big 
Beefcake Bot, and this is what he is. And I gotta say, I'm happy, so let's go to the summation and the eating. Woohoo! All right, time for the summation. So, what do I think about Titan's Return? Power Master Optimus Prime. Oh man, you know, I appreciate the ridiculousness of this figure. I, and I do. I, I appreciate the fact that they did a, a city mode that really, to be honest, when I, when I made the uh, Ultra Magnus city mode, I actually kind of think Ultra Magnus's looks a little better, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But uh, yeah, I appreciate that ridiculousness. I appreciate bringing back the Headmasters, although now Titan Masters. But yeah, I appreciate that gimmick that they're trying to do some old things and kind of make them kind of new because now you can buy separate headmasters which should be interesting um and i like the fact that they really did try to make him look like power master optimus prime in a lot of ways i mean i like the details it's really detailed figure i like how heavily they remolded ultra magnus instead of just kind of yeah, sure, here's Optimus Prime, and just, you know, basically do a head swap. So, good deal, Hasbro, good deal. Is he nice? Oh, and also I like the fact that, and I don't know if I mentioned it, I mentioned it one time in one take, but, uh, yeah, that, uh, the city mode connects to Fortress Maximus, and so does Blaster. Blaster has a city mode, too, so, yeah, I really gotta see that. I'm dying to see it. So, this is a great start to Titan's Return. I can't wait to see the rest of them. So, is it nice? Yes. Is it shiny? Yes. Is it good? Oh, yeah. And, man, I can't wait to get more. So, let's just get right to the eating. So, nice, shiny, good. Uh, oh, he's kind of heavy. Mm, you know, the, uh, mmm. Tag Master kind of tastes like caramel. Where is that caramel? 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 Does anybody know? Caramel, caramel? Caramel, caramel? <sighs> you know, life is sometimes too difficult. So, uh, good toy. Good toy. Uh, bye.